Hello guys, welcome to another video. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, we have some uh, a lot of work to do in this video because I want to explain some other library that we're going to use. Okay, so I'm the I'm the, I am on GitHub. Okay, or GitHub. Uh, say what you prefer most the most. Okay, so we are going to use this library, which is called Shutterbot. Okay, machine learning converse, conversational dialogue engine. Um, this is a good a this is a, this is an awesome library for creating chatbots. Okay, I think it's the most uh, this is the most interesting library for making chatbots in in all the languages. Okay, in all the languages. To be fair, okay, because this is very easy to use. It's like no seriously, no seriously, very easy to use. I'm not kidding. You can make some awesome chatbots okay so let's install this i'm just gonna show you uh i already have some video i think about this in my channel so you can check out that video and see for yourself but uh as you need because we need to make this i mean i need to make this playlist uh self-explanatory i need to show you how to make other things okay so let's install this library by typing pip install shutterbot. And what you're gonna see is that I already have this installed on my computer. Okay. So so we get nothing but per se. Uh while meanwhile we are going to create some chats or some conversations to train the chatbot, okay? So I'm just gonna open the notepad, simple, the simple and the old and good notepad, okay? Uh, so, how this is gonna work? Uh, imagine that you have some conversation with another person wh while you are in the, the, conver the conversations because it's easier to remember or to, be f to stay focused, okay? So, usually what the people first type is, hi and other people type hello and again some people might say hi how are you and the other people is going to resp respond uh i'm fine how are you okay and the other people is, might say fine thanks Thanks for asking. How's your day? It is good. Okay. I'm just gonna uh, write this. Uh, I think it is very easier to understand. Okay. But I think we need more contributions or probably some community can help us or some people can help us to write some uh, good base for writing a general chatbot which can talk about, about, about almost everything uh, in the context of a chatbot for a vir virtual assistant okay so this is pretty much all that I'm gonna write right now we're going to save this Okay, I'm just gonna save on desktop. Let me see desktop Flask. Okay, wait, we're still talking about Flask, but uh, we're not writing Flask uh, Flask tutorial in this video. Okay, uh, let's uh, create a folder called bot. Okay, and we're going to save this file as chats.txt. Okay, okay, that is good. Uh, let me see. Uh, okay, that is good. Let's write some our bot. Okay, let's create another file. Okay, so we need to uh, train this chatbot. This chatbot. Okay, so to train chatbot, we're going to use a simple and easy way, or simple and powerful way to train this bot, which is which is by using the list trainer, okay? 
uh, if you uh, is having trouble with anything uh, related to this, we can comment down below that I probably will help you, okay? So this is for training. Training. The bot. And this is the bot per se, okay? So let's create a bot, which is going to be equal chatbot. Let's give it a name. I'm gonna call it test because it's a test and it's easier to understand. Let's define the trainer, <laughs> which is the method. Uh, so trainer, let's trainer, okay? Uh, we need to load the chats. Let's uh, call chats, which is going to be uh, the lines of that file, okay? So chats equal open chats.txt. We are going to read this file dot read lines. Uh, okay, so let's call bot dot train chats train on chats. Um, load chats. Send the train method. Okay. And create create the bot. So this is the code. Okay. I'm probably not going to post this on my GitHub because <laughs> it's it's very difficult for me to post something on GitHub because I make a lot of tutorials. So if I write if I create uh, one repository for every video that I make or made, my I'm gonna crash GitHub. Okay, so it, it even and even though GitHub doesn't allow uh, files files that we, that are greater or larger than 100 megabytes now. Okay, so some of my projects cannot be roast, hosted on GitHub anymore. Okay, so this is the uh, the ex uh, the explanation of the code. Okay, so here with the, uh, here are the libraries that we're going to use. Okay, with these two. This is for training. This is the bot per se. This is the creation of the bot or create the bot. This is the set the train method. This loaded the chats. Okay. I already have a video about this. So if you have some doubt about this, you can check that video. Okay. Let's run uh, this within a while loop. Okay. So let's call request or request. Okay, it's going to be equal input. Okay, so this is the request. Let's call a variable, variable which is going to be equal resp variable resp, which is going to be equal bot dot get response. Okay, and we pass the resp uh variable and we print on the screen this okay resp okay okay it is good let's save it i'm gonna save right here on bot bot actually i'm gonna call it bot.py because it is is to remember let's execute okay it is going to train This fast, it is very fast for training. Uh, for training, this is bot, okay, bot actually. Okay, it's, it's good. Uh, it is already done. Let's type some conversations, okay? I'm gonna type hi, and we get hello. Are you seeing this line? Okay, <laughs> this line is probably some bug that my code has, okay? What is the book that my code has? I'm gonna show you. Uh, okay. We can't see here, but actually, that is slash n right here, okay? So, 
why we are seeing this, uh, sorry, this, oh no, sorry, this, okay? It should be you and bought after that, okay? And again, and over and over again, but we are seeing this line, which is actually a slash n special character, okay? Character, okay? Let's uh, uh, fix this book by coming here. And let me see, okay, right here. We need to replace uh, the, the chats, okay? Let's use some chat comp uh, some list comprehension, okay? Uh, let me see. Ch dot replace slash n for this, okay? For ch in chats. I think this uh, expression is correct, but let's see, né? Okay, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's type hi. Okay. It is, it is now. Okay, let's call some function. I'm gonna call it uh, some... It is, I think it is R strip, I guess for removing empty spaces between the start and the end of the string. Hi. Oh, okay, I, 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 okay, that is weird. Let's try, let's try this way. Okay. Now, now is is okay, okay. So as you can see, we have hi, hello, and as you say, as we see a hello, we can we should just respond as hello, hi, or hi, hello, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day? It's, it is, it's great. It's, or it's been awesome. It's, it's been awesome. Fine, thanks for asking, how was your day? As you can see, there's sort of loop because we, we don't have a lot of training sets or training examples for this bot. So it's kind of, doesn't know well some sentences or some inputs okay so fine how's your day great hi how are you hello fine or oh, i'm great or i'm doing well fine thanks for asking how's your day okay i'm not going to further on this chatbot because again it depends on on your corpus okay on your corpora or or your data set for training okay i just trained the this chatbot with these sentences which are just a few of them okay if we train this with i don't know 1000 10000 conversations it would much work much better it would work much better okay so that's my point okay uh we have this working <laughs> but uh okay that was the video i hope you like it uh i have some change to make in order to uh implement this in the flask uh api or micro framework but we're going to do that in the next video okay so that was the video guys i hope you like it see you later